Good morning, my name's James, part of the Orpington congregation. Well, here we are with Jacob, who through quite a lot of trickery has found himself carrying God's blessing, a blessing that through him and his descendants, the world would be impacted, that they would be powerful in the world and change it. And that must feel pretty good. I really am somebody, I'm somebody, because through me, the world is going to be changed. And he's living that out. He's living out that ambition and that blessing. He's here married to the two sisters, to Rachel and to Leah. And he's there to have a big family. And through that family, the world was going to be impacted and he was going to be someone. And we know that he's fallen in love with Rachel. Rachel was his preferred of the two sisters. It says he loved Rachel more than Leah. Rachel is number one. Leah is number two. It's public, it's seen by all, everyone can see that's how, that's how it is. But this weighty blessing and this ambition that the world would be impacted through his descendants, it's getting fulfilled by Leah, not by Rachel. It's Leah that's, fu that's fulfilling that, it's Leah that's having the children. And at the start of this reading, she's given him four sons. And Leah herself has recognized um, in the previous reading, she says, now, at last, my husband will become attached to me. She's realised now I'm number one and Rachel is number two. And Rachel's heart is jealous. Where is her self-worth now? She was the preferred one and now she's not because she can't give him children. She can't stand it and she says to Jacob, give me children or I'll die. But Jacob just gets angry. There's strife, there's jealousy, there's struggle, difficult relationships. Have you ever known anything like that, where you're not getting something that you really wanted? Finding yourself in a second place or a discarded place? Maybe locked in a struggle for more power, recognition, for popularity or respect? Rachel gives her maidservant to Jacob to sleep with him and they, he, she has two children that way. The first she names Dan, meaning he has vindicated, and the second Naphtali, my struggle. It's a very public declaration for everyone to see. Rachel's saying, God has seen me and now I've got one up on Leah. Now I've had some children, so I'm back in number one position. But Leah does the same gives her maid servant and has a child that way. And she says, in front of everyone, how happy I am. The women will call me happy. Again, positioning, saying, now I'm back as number one because there are more children through me. And then there's this situation with the mandrake plants. The mandrake plants are like flowers, probably thought to have aphrodisiac qualities. And Leah's got them. And Rachel thinks that gives her an advantage over me. So she, she comes up with a, a bargain so that she gets some of these plants too. And she says, right, you can sleep with Jacob if I get some of these mandrake plants. But when Leah sleeps with Jacob, she has her own child again with him. So it was a, it was a failed plan by Rachel to try and get one up. So we've got this situation right at the end where it looks like Leah has one out. And Rachel is the loser, stuck at the second place. But finally, in verse 24, it says, God remembered Rachel. He listened and gave her a son, Joseph, who we know would go on to be this amazing leader. In fact, the leader of the superpower of its time of Egypt, although not without struggles of his own. So this morning, I wonder what are your struggles? What or who are you struggling with? Because God's blessing, as we see in this story, continues like a bulldozer straight through the middle of those struggles. Through the jealousy, through the strife, through the battles, God's blessing continues through it. Jesus told us to pray for our enemies. And Jesus told us that if we need anything, we should ask the Father. God remembered both Leah and Rachel. And he blessed them both. 
His purposes were fulfilled despite the trickery. They were fulfilled despite the jealousy, despite the mistakes that people made. So let's pray the same for us. Father, you have all the abundance. You have everything we need. Help us orientate our hearts towards you, that the ambitions, the things that we're holding tight to, the things that we want, I pray that we would see those things fulfilled through your provision for us, that we would celebrate you and have faith in you, enjoy you having our back, enjoy you sorting us out, but that we wouldn't just try and grab things in our own strife, and our own fights and battles. We pray for your help in these things today. Amen.